Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, it's great to be with you once again. This week in our devotions, we're looking at uh, five good reasons to continue gathering as God's people. Uh, yesterday, from Romans 12, we saw that we gather because we belong to one another. Uh, it's an expression of who we are as members of the body of Christ and therefore important. But today we're going to look at the second good reason to gather as God's people, and that is because it identifies us as genuine believers. Jenny's going to read to us from now from John 13, 31 to 38. Thanks, Jen. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another. As, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I'm going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Then Jesus answered, will you really lay down your life for me? Very truly, I tell you, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Mm, thanks, Jen. Jesus is speaking with his closest disciples here about his departure. Uh, he's about to be betrayed and unjustly tried and crucified. Now, all this will lead to his glorification through resurrection and ascension. But Jesus knows this will be a hard season for the disciples. Jesus is also preparing them for the time to follow when he's no longer with them in body, but with them by his spirit. When he's ascended into heaven, they will be the body of Christ and his spirit will be with them. But there will be one main thing that marks them out as his disciples to the rest of the world at that time. In John 13, verse 35, Jesus said, All men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Loving other Christian people is what shows the world that we're followers of Jesus. Love for one another is the main thing that identifies us as Christian according to Jesus. Now, it's very hard to show love to other people if you never spend time with them, isn't it? Actually, sometimes it's pretty hard to show love to other people when you do spend time with them. But it's impossible to show love to them if you never see them. How, how can we say we love Christ and yet reject his body? We can't, no. We're to love one another as members of the body of Christ. And to do so, we must spend time together. Now, of course, in the current season where our opportunity for physical gathering is limited due to COVID-19 restrictions, our love for one another will be seen through contact, either perhaps through phone to catch up and support one another, or by hospitality, having people over for a meal, or even through Zoom gatherings. Now, we must never underestimate the value of a phone call. It gives us the opportunity to love by listening. It also provides the opportunity to offer practical and emotional or spiritual support to those who may be vulnerable or struggling. Similarly, with hospitality, it gives us a chance to listen and to extend friendship and to support those around us who might be isolated or lonely. Some growth groups are, are continuing by, via phone conference calls. And that's a great way forward where internet connection is lacking. Uh, but many growth groups are also continuing by Zoom, which has the added benefit of also being able to see one another. There are, of course, Zoom groups available too, before and after the Sunday online service at 8am, 10am, 4pm and 6pm. So whether it be by phone call or hospitality or even a Zoom group, let's continue to show Christ-like love whenever we can. May God strengthen us in this challenging season to love one another as Christ has loved us by gathering in whatever way is possible with each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you'll join us tomorrow for the third reason to gather as God's people according to his word. We'll see you then. See you then.